you been keeping? It's been, uh, I've been all right. It's been a bit of a really strange time. Uh, obviously with lockdown, my, my my professional job, we haven't actually stopped. So I've been a key worker. So kind of going from working, you know, kind of normal nine to five hours and then being reduced hours, but and then all of a sudden going back up to open hours for so much to customers, but also still working. It's been, it's been really strange, but uh, I'm just really glad to get back to football now after such a time away. And how have the squad been doing since you last saw them? I've got to say the players have been brilliant. Uh, as soon as we went into lockdown, we had Andy, our, uh, our strength coach, straight away organising Zoom sessions for the players so we could continue doing their strength conditioning. And the uptake has been, it's been brilliant. They've had, I think at one point we were over 85% of players were attending those sessions and they were doing three sessions a week. So full credit to the players and to, to Andy. They've just been, they've been brilliant and Andy's been a real un unsung hero through the time. What was your thoughts on the decision to completely restart the league? Uh, I think it's... I can see why they've done it. Uh, we'd only played one game, so we maybe weren't in that situation that the SPFL found itself in, having been three quarters of a way through a season. So I can understand it. Uh, it doesn't really mean much difference to us, one game. you know. It just means we'll need to go and win it again and very much just looking forward to, to getting back to New Douglas Park and getting going. Will this now allow the women's football to run at the same time schedule as the men's team? And do you think you see that as a benefit in fans trying to keep track of both teams? Yeah, I, I think that uh, it's something as a club we spoke a lot about. And, you know, we were maybe on that we preferred summer football. But I think as things have moved on, I think we can definitely see the benefits. It makes our planning easier alongside uh, Aki's uh, and the men's first team. So there is a lot of benefits, you know, that's before you think about commercial things. But I think just from a player welfare type thing, at the moment in a summer season, the players don't really get a break. They get four weeks in July and we're still training through that. And then, you know, the last two years we've started back the last week of December for pre-season for starting in February. Now this will enable us to, to give us a full June off. So really, I do think summer football against winter football is a, a little bit of a myth. I think we're only you know, we're now able to get June off. The players get a proper break and then we're back to it. So I think from that point of view, it's it's a positive. Have you already started a plan for the season ahead? Yeah. So obviously, I mean, you've been down tonight. We've been doing distance sessions for the last few weeks. Uh, initially starting one to one where possible, and then one coach to two, and the number of households. And now with five households, we're four players to one coach. Uh, so we have been moving steadily. We're now just waiting on the next out announcement. Hopefully, we can get back to some level of contact training. Uh, but like I say, it's a you know real credit to the players to to buying in and being patient with us and being patient with everything that's happening. And have you got a message for any fans who are looking forward to seeing the first team back in action? Yeah, I mean we can't wait to see you back. Uh, it's been a really challenging time for us not having football, but equally for football supporters, it's been really challenging as well. Uh, you know. I know we've had a few questions about things like season tickets and, you know, they'll all still be valid. We're still using the same sponsors and, you know, we've really built up a, a real community spirit and a real club that looks out for each other here at Aki's Women. And, you know, we just can't wait to, to get back when it's safe to do so and our supporters will be the first to know when that the, the case for that is. Thanks very much. We can't wait to see you back. Okay. Thank you.